Hey everybody, this is Dean FM, and today I wanted to do another reaction video. This is number 36, Cute Gay Proposals on the Game Bitch Here We Go TikTok channel. As always, please make sure to check out my Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and my official YouTube page. Let's get into it, Dean FM, on all platforms. They about to cry into each other's arms. Oh, no, no, no. They done been through it. My whole thing is like people walking by for me. Uh, we, we created our own Cinderella grass slipper. Oh, you're the princess though. Did the uh, shoe not fit? Did the shoe not fit? You know, they there's literally a part in the... Um, did the shoe fit or not? Nah? Like, why is he not in the shoe? I don't understand the whole shoe thing, but I know that in Cinderella, in one of the versions, doesn't like the heel. The shoe doesn't fit. The sisters, they all want it to fit. Or the sisters, they want their feet to fit. Somebody cuts their heel off. And I know that for a fact, because we did the play in elementary school. <laughs> we gotta take your heels. Ah, ah. We got to cut your heel into the woods. So I don't know. It was like a Cinderella, like a mashup. Some bull. Let's not do that. I don't know if you would have to use a cheese grater. We are moving on. Okay. He said yes. I like the crowd here. Oh God. <laughs> I ain't gonna have nothing. What's that? I thought we were just taking a photo. We not? Then my life changed forever. <laughs> what? Did he say no? Yeah. We fell in love. I didn't think this was possible. I didn't think I deserved to be loved. Oh shit. We were so nervous. Oh damn. Will you marry me? Yes. Oh my god, what? <laughs> you see, my, 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 my impulsive ass just want to take the ring and like, whoop, plop in the water. <laughs> we well, all in some interesting places. Travel game on lock. Travel game on point. Okay, I hate to be critical. <laughs> I hate to be critical about your proposal. Nothing happened there. You gotta make your proposal. At this point, seeing what I've seen on TikTok, y'all, you gotta make it interesting. You gotta make it fun. Make it, like, engaging. If you are making a TikTok, number one, you're just basically filming the proposal. There's no effects. You're not doing nothing. We're not giving the girls nothing. We are gay. Let's do a little something, something more. We don't gotta just do the old fashioned, like, in the sunset. It's really crappy. Like, not even in the sunset, on the ground, on the knee, and all that stuff. First of all, we are not doing anything with the gender norms. <laughs> I see. We are still getting on the knee. I don't get on the knee unless it is for something else <laughs> basically let's make it more fun i wish everybody congratulations like this is amazing like i hope and wish all these gay cisgendered men that all look kind of identical the best it's okay <laughs> it's okay with the palm trees So are you a bystander or? Not with the jacket wrapped around the, um, no, I guess. Where's the bling? We gotta, we gotta be able to see the bling. We gotta be doing the proposal. We gotta be seeing the bling. Okay. I'm gonna see the rock. Where's the rock? Did you spend, is it like a, did you give him an onion ring or what did you do? He said yes. Oh, okay. 
okay, this this couple looks a little more diverse. A lot of elders in my family, a lot of adults, people much older than me, they have told me that proposals don't necessarily always have to be particularly done in that fashion where you gotta get it on the knee and other things. A lot of times it's just a mutual agreement between the two people, so you don't have to do all this. This would be a little much for me. I don't know if I would wanna be, a, you know, there's a lot of spotlight going on. I'm a performer, but you are not gonna put that spotlight on me talking about on the ground and everybody's looking at me like, like, huh, I know that I'm not the best catcher. You may think that, oh, who could propose to this hoe? I'm saying, <laughs> no. You better be coming with the husband if you're gonna be coming with the ring. I don't give a f about the ring if you're not gonna be coming with the man. I need the man, I need the partner, I need the companion. If you're not gonna be giving me that, I'm not gonna be looking down at a crackhead. It's like, yeah, you got on the knee, no. Now I have standards. See what makes me so sad is when people cry. It's like, what are you thinking about? It's like, I know it's happiness, but there's some sadness there, right? Like you're crying for what you've not had. You two are too cute. That's, uh, that's a beautiful scene of me. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? You better be coming back. Oh, they were both gonna do it. That's too cute. See that? That's what you know. It's right. That's what you know. It's right. And that fog in the back, that mist. Oh, that's a nice scenery. I like that scenery. It's a little dark. I like this couple. <laughs> the way they're gasping is so cute. They're so cute. my dear was reacting to what was i reacting to gay couple tiktoks compilation cute gay proposals number 36 that was so cute i like auto proposals as i was just saying about when people cry what makes me really emotional is that i don't cry out of happiness i don't feel like all the time what others typically classify as a situation where i'm appearing like i'm crying out of happiness i'm typically not i feel like when i'm crying there's still something sad or something in my past that will be triggering such tears and such emotion because it's like yes i'm crying and i love him so much or, or they love each other so much but they could be a lot of like hurt from they've missed a whole lot in their life and they finally have somebody that's gonna help them out <laughs> that they can ride it out with that they can call the homie g's especially as gay people and queer people we have been subjected to a lot more everything under the sun but including dating issues situations that come because of our social isolation because of our oppression and other people's perception of themselves and our potential partners and how they may feel of themselves in society and it's very different from being straight i hope you have a nice day please stay safe wish you all the best with your love please Please make sure to love yourself. Please go out and love whoever you want. Be safe and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.